testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of Quick Hits. Uh, it's good to be back. I've been gone all week. Um, really, really sick. I'm still really under the weather, but had to do a, a, a quick hit today to get into this Canelo thing. Uh, but before we do that, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, please follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Uh, quick Hits comes at you twice a day, uh, comes at you every day, 8 10 minutes a day, but not when, I'm, not when I'm sick for a week and a half. Uh, guys, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, let's get into today's show, obviously. Uh, Dimitri Bavol, what did I just see? What did Dimitri Bavol just show me? Congratulations, uh, Mr. Bavol, on beating the best fighter on the face of the earth. Unbelievable performance. I had a 118-110. Uh, how did y'all have it? I did not even have it close. I gave the first round and the ninth round to Canelo and everything else to Dimitri Bavol, who put on a, a spectacular performance i mean absolutely unbelievable performance from dimitri Bavol. i mean five stars 10 out of 10 a plus plus performance uh how'd you guys have it leave, leave your thoughts leave your scorecards let me know what y'all have it I'm, I'm gonna post my scorecards well you, you can go get it on social media on, on uh, facebook and um uh my personal um my, my personal facebook page and and, and twitter for your 3d box blog uh, you can see my scorecard i'm gonna post up here too um Bavol did exactly what I, I said he would do. Um, he can't fight the whole fight coming forward, but he can't fight the whole fight going backwards either. This game plan that um, Billy Joe Saunders and, and Caleb Plant had where they were going to run from him and fight him off the back foot for 12 rounds and they're going to beat him that way, I kept saying it. It's not going to work. You're not going to run from Canelo for 12 rounds. He's way too skilled. He's going to get to the inside. You're going to slow down. And when he does, he's going to take your head off. You're going to have to bite down, stand in, and fight him in spots. I don't want to do that for all three minutes of all 12 rounds, right? But there are spots you're going to have to stand your ground. And you're going to have to fight. And he did that. And he did held his own. He, he, you know, he kept him at the end of his punches. He's a master at that. You know, uh, I, I didn't give Bavol any chance to win this fight. I didn't even do a pre-show because I was sick. And I was like, there's no way Bavol's going to win. So uh, I'm not here Monday morning quarterbacking, right? Um, Oscar got a little crooked. Um, I'm not here Monday morning quarterbacking. I'm not saying, like, I, I told you Bavol was going to win. I thought Bavol had no chance. Um, <coughs> that movement, and he was able to execute to perfection. He, he circling, moving, he in range. He was able to. He, you know, he had the reach advantage. He was able to keep Canelo at the end of his punches, keep Canelo at the end of his punches to perfection. Um, and going going backwards when he when he when he did go backwards, he 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 didn't let Canelo get on the inside. He didn't let Canelo get on the inside. You know, Canelo had. Moments early on with the uppercut, and he had a couple moments late with the uppercut. But I don't think they had enough mustard on him, and I, I don't think he was doing enough to win the last round. So I, I thought he won the ninth, and I thought he won the first. I gave you everything else to Bavol, who I thought fought perfectly. <coughs> Guys, can hear it. Not feeling good. Um, now we're gonna get a rematch, right? Which is the good news. In the rematch, I, I still gonna pick Canelo in the rematch because I think he's better, um, and, and I think he'll figure out a way to get on the inside um, and, and really break down the ball, which he wasn't able to do. I, I was saying that if you check my, my Twitter feed, I, I was saying that he's got to get on the inside, right? It's not just, he's not just going to get there and knock him out, right? He's going to have to do the work early. He's going to have to fight all three minutes of all three of all, all the rounds. And he's going to have to slow him down and break him down. And he didn't do that. Uh, Bavol was winning, you know, off the jab, off the right hand, just one, two. As I said that, Bavol's downfall would be that he's high level basic, right? You see one twos once in a while he mixes in a hook, he circles, 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 you know, and he does everything really. He's got excellent timing, he's got a good jab, right? But it's it's it, he's basic, right? And you're not gonna beat Canel being basic, but he did. It actually worked to perfection. What I thought was his weakness actually became his strength, right? And Canel just couldn't get past it. Now, on another day, Canel may be a little sharper. Can, can Canelo beat him? Absolutely, Canelo could beat him. 
Uh, but he's got to make some adjustments. He's got to figure out how to get him. And I'm not saying I have the game plan here for Canelo. Um, or, or how to execute, or, or how to execute the game plan, right? Uh, but he's got to figure out a way to slip inside. He's got to put more pressure on him, right? Um, a little bit more head movement. <coughs> and I look, Bavol went to like 21 percent of his shots. So it's not like Bavol was working with pinpoint precision. He was just outworking him, outworking him, and outlanding him. I think Canelo went at 17 percent of his punches, and Bavol went at 21. So this was not a a you know. Precision firefight, right? This is just this was Bavol just outworking him and being able to keep him at the end of his punches. You know, um, Bavol's footwork was was good. His movement's always really good. His jab is good. It was enough. Like it it, it was a, enough to win the rounds. Like I said, I, I thought Bavol would win two rounds and end up Canelo won two rounds and Bavol won ten on my card. So I, I was completely wrong in this fight. Um, I want to get into the judges real quick before I do go. 115, 113. Chris Maddox was was, uh, was chit chatting about how Steve Weisfeld and David Murray, who are terrible judges, were two of the best in the sport, and they're not two of the best in the sport. They're two terrible judges. You can go. Well, I can. I we we've, we've discussed this before. I've done this on MCR, and we don't even need to get Moretti is is I think the worst judge in the sport by a mile, right? I, I, and Weisfeld scores for the aggressor. Like that's you may like it, you may hate it, but that's all he does is he scores for the guy coming forward. Period. Um, Cheatham, I think, is okay, and they all had a 115, 113. I, I don't know how you get five rounds for Canelo. Uh, you know, maybe you can get three or four, five to stretch, man. I don't know how you get to five. So I haven't seen the score because I, I do want to take, get, take a chance to get a look at it, but um, they I, I do feel like they tried to they tried. To give this to Canelo, it was just that there was too there were too many rounds. Now you can, I guess, in theory, C.J. Ross he scored in a draw for Canelo and Mayweather. Adelaide Bird scored one eighteen one ten for Canelo over um, <coughs> over Triple G in the first fight. I I mean, I guess you could give egregious rounds to the fighters, and it, but it, like, if you want to be respected at all, you can't do what C.J. Ross and Adelaide Bird did. And I think that they tried to give Canelo every single round, every single close round, every round that you could make even an argument for Canelo. I think they gave to Canelo. And you really got to start asking yourself why. Why are you trying to give one fighter rounds over the other? Look, if, if there are five close rounds, and I, I did this in Canelo Triple G1. I had an eight for Canelo. Why? Because I gave every single close round to, to Canelo. Why did I want Canelo to win the fight? No, I picked Triple G to win the fight. But I, I thought all of the close rounds Canelo won, just by a little bit. Now, could you say Gary it's eight four Triple G? Okay, fine. I could I could see that, right? Because there were that many close rounds. So I, I don't. If you give all the close rounds to the one fighter, that's fine. But if you're looking to give him rounds, and you you know what I'm saying, you're not looking to score the fight thing. I think this guy just did a little bit, little bit more in all of the close rounds. That's fine. That's not what we have here. Like, this is a concerted effort to give Canelo rounds, I feel like. And why? He's the biggest fighter in the world, the best, the biggest draw in the world, the best fighter in the world. Why does he need you to give him rounds he didn't earn? And that's kind of what I'm seeing here. I'm glad ultimately they got it right. I just think it was way too close, and it's a bad omen moving forward that all three judges got it way too close. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, do you think Canelo can make the adjustments necessary? And I am sorry, guys. <coughs> I am dying here. Do you think Canelo can make the adjustments he needs in the rematch? Or is it just going to be a repeat? Um, is Bavol just, you know, is, is, is does he have the right recipe for Canelo? Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. 3D Boxing on all forms of social media. Also, the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Um, all proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. So please like, share, and subscribe to that channel as well. Uh, Texas Boxing Scene. Um, on YouTube, uh, please, it's, like I said, all proceeds go to autism research and recovery, so it's near and dear to our heart, uh, so uh, please help us out there. Um, it is it is now May 8th, 2022, uh, from Texas to the world, thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.